Hey everybody, thought I'd make a video here today. I like answering subscribers' questions and inquiries, and I like sharing websites, whether big or small, that look into ancient mysteries. So I thought I'd do both with one video here today. This is Obscure Vermont, and I got a message from a guy in Vermont asked me if I have ever heard of stone chambers located throughout Vermont, and I hadn't, but I have heard of stone structures elsewhere in New England that hint of a chapter of history that we are unfamiliar with. But I found this website, it has some good pictures, and I thought a very good article. And my first impression looking at these stone chambers are these are very old, just by the sedimentation and the tree growth. That's what it says in my mind's eye, that these are ancient. It says most of these structures are igloo-shaped, burrowing into the hillside with a door-like opening. Inside, the walls are made from perfectly placed stones, and the ceilings and compass giant stone slabs weighing several tons. Some have enigmatic inscriptions etched into the stones that have baffled people since they have been discovered. But who built them, when, and why? Those are the answers that no one seems to have. Any information seems to have long ago vanished in some sort of cultural hiccup, ensuring the answers were never handed down, leaving this as one of Vermont's greatest lingering mysteries. But there are theories, and depending on who you ask, are subject to much debate. An accepted theory is that these are stone that these stone igloos are nothing more than colonial root cellars as old as 200 years old. But I have uh, looked into that, and that really doesn't seem to fly with me. It says, though this is possible, it seems that this information just doesn't add up. The Native Americans seem to be just as puzzled by their existence as well, meaning that these stone chambers were here long before the first land-grabbing Europeans set foot in the hills of Vermont. And apparently, one of them has been carbon dated before in the re the results concluded that these may have existed more than 2,000 years ago. So what are they, and who built them? It says another explanation that is gaining popularity is that these mounds are the products of ancient Celts or Vikings, who during seafaring explorations landed in the strange land now known as New England. While here, they discovered copper deposits. Could these mounds be the product of ancient copper miners? And if so, could they mean that Celts or Vikings were here far before Columbus set foot in the Western Hemisphere? But that still leaves out a revealing detail. What were these stone chambers used for? Some speculate they were tombs, a place to leave the dead, to be returned to Mother Earth. Other chambers have been shown to have some sort of astronomical significance with the sun, with the sun and these chambers lined up during equinoxes and solstices. And it says, goes on to say this, other chambers offer ways that the past can speak to us in the modern world, but their messages are often hard to decipher, raising more unanswerable questions and scrutiny than not. Ogham, a lost ancient language, has been found scribed in the very stones that these chambers were constructed from. One inscription can be translated to mean precincts of the gods of the land beyond the sunset. Could this be Vermont's original name? And it says there are 200 of these stone structures scattered throughout Vermont. And I'm not going to read all this, but I am going to leave the link below. I know a few you, few of you are real fascinated in this subject. But here is a look. And I'll tell you one thing. The colonial people, when they built their root cellars, the solstices and equinoxes were not in their thought process while building their root cellars, so I think that theory is ridiculous. But here are here's a look, and I've looked into a few of these, and there they show on a few pictures that I've seen on some other sites where they are aligned to the spring equinox and other significant solar alignments. And here you can just see the shadow, how the sun is going here, but. I find these very fascinating. I don't think there has been an adequate explanation for these and other ones found throughout New England, most notably America's Stonehenge. I'll leave a link for a couple of videos I did on pre-colonial sites in America that just proves the history of the United States is a totally unwritten book. We just have little bits about, uh, you know, current or uh, relatively recent within the past you know, 400 years, that history is pretty well written. But past 500 years ago, we have whole chapters that have not been written yet. And all we have are these clues, these remains 
from ancient cultures were here. This wasn't the new world. This was actually the old world that pretty much got obliterated in a cataclysm 12,800 years ago. And people from all over Europe and the Mideast, the Phoenicians, I believe, uh, other people set foot in the United States and they wanted to keep it a secret. There was a whole land unoccupied that uh, had a lot of things to offer. And I think just people wanted to keep it a secret. That why it wasn't really written about too much in ancient texts from cultures from across the Atlantic. But if it says this was a place beyond the sunset, I believe that this is where these people came from who built these places. If you have any information on the Ogham, that's one thing I have not familiarized myself very much with. Or if these look familiar to something in Europe or the UK or anywhere where these ruins are found, please leave a comment. This is pretty much a big a mystery to me as it is to you, but I thought this is worth talking about. The history of our country is much more fascinating than I think we can even imagine. Hope you thought this was interesting. I'll leave some links below and I'll just go over to Google Earth here. Maybe some of you are not exactly familiar with Vermont and where it is, but here it is right here. Hope you thought this was interesting. You yeah, have a nice day.